Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you. Kluger welcomes you to the inaugural Grim Dawn Mod Spotlight. The goal for this series, of course, as the title suggests, is to bring to your eyeballs and your ear holes the glory and the awesome and the deliciousness that is the work of the Grim Dawn modding community. <laughs> as of the time of this recording, the Grim Dawn mod tools have only recently been made available, and already the community has gone absolutely ham on working on all manner of stuff, a lot of works in progress, a lot of ideas, a lot of concepts being thrown around. The modding community has gone crazy, and it's fantastic to see. So what I'm kicking this little mini-series, sort of intermittent series, off for is to bring those to your attention and show off some of the ones that I feel like checking out and that I reckon you guys might enjoy. So for today, we are starting this off by looking at the Grimmer and Grimmest... Yeah, Grimmer and Grimmest mod <laughs> by the super moderator Giacco over at the Grim Dawn forums. Uh, applicable links to the thread and the mod below so you can check it out for yourself. Currently a work in progress, but I'm sure he'll get it to completion pretty soon. Basically, the idea of this mod, of course, is spawns. Lots and lots of spawns cranking up the difficulty to the verge of near death at all corners of the globe in Grim Dawn. <laughs> so I'll read out a few of the notes with regards to how this mod works. Of course, the global spawns just for all monsters has been upped. Uh, more champions and hero monsters will be appearing all over the place. The, uh, there was another one with regards to, yeah, some more spawns in terms of, uh, like, summoning creatures, for example, Kazog and, um, other such peoples, and other hero monsters and those sorts of things. The, the, no the mod, the, the notes put it better than I ever could, <laughs> so definitely read those, but basically it's cranking up the, uh, difficulty via much more spawns and much more difficulty in terms of those spawns. Um, and then to compensate for there being a lot more monsters, the difficult, uh, pardon me, the experience uh, that you earn from killing monsters has been cranked down, so you don't uh, totally overlevel any particular area. So, I am now pressing ahead to demonstrate to you the spawn increase. I actually have run up to this point in advance and then logged out and back in to reset the spawn, and there are a lot more even than the last time I attempted it. Uh, don't be disheartened, by the way, guys. I've seen a couple of comments on the thread, on the forum, saying that you don't really notice any spawn increase, uh, but you've got to run at least to the first rift gate, and this is where I am right now. Initially, you might think, well, have I installed this mod properly? I'm confused. This isn't working as intended, because it doesn't seem like there's much of a difference, but... Once you get to about where I'm up to now, as you can see, four running <laughs> soldiers straight off the bat. Five, in fact. There are a lot more spawns. It ramps up the further you go in, and I can only imagine how wild this gets um, the further and further you go in. Kill that thing, please. I didn't sell up my inventory either. Classic. So, yeah. Um, it's awesome. I mean, Jocko knows this himself in, in the thread. And as soon as I thought it, saw this, rather, I thought to myself, this reminds me of the old Titan Quest days. There was a mod called X-Max, which in effect did the same thing. Mass a difficulty mod uh, based around the amount of spawns, uh, enemy spawn that you saw around the map. And it's really cool to see this up and running again. I remember back in these old days of the Titan Quest brilliance and awesomeness that it was. Um, there was actually a thread running over on the TQ forums, TQ.net forums, pardon me, where the there was a small but dedicated contingent uh, of forum members that essentially uh, played hardcore X-Max. Uh, they put characters together and saw how far they could take them without dying in the X-Max mod pack, or mod I should say, which is really, really awesome. Uh, because obviously it's a lot more difficult to stay alive when you're dealing with um, such a crazy increase of spawn. Um, and I'm hoping that this mod can kind of spawn a similar, no pun intended, spawn a similar uh, contingent or, or group of loyal fans that have a go at hardcore grim Grimmer or Grimmest. Um, I certainly want to give it a go at some point. Um, that being said, I've still got ambition in normal style Grim Dawn, so I don't know when or if I'll get to such a thing, but I reckon that'll be super fun if we can get a, a thread going on the forums once this mod is complete. Um, where we essentially have a friendly competition and see who can, you know, complete hardcore ultimate ex uh, Grimmest. That would be so cool. So, guys, really, I mean, that's all there is to it. I definitely urge you to check this out for yourself. Like I said, um, the link is down below in the description for you guys to get a hand on this for yourselves and give it a crack and see how far you can get. Uh, 
I'll kill a few more things. We'll all hang about on camera for another moment or two just to have a bit more fun with it. See if we get any craziness. In fact, what we'll do is we'll go inside to the, um the uh, burial cave here and we'll check it out the first attempt i did i got two kazogs spawn at once um which is part of the ambition of the mod as it notes in the patch notes and so we'll see if that happens again because that will be quite a lol i am sure i leveled up again as well i'm just doing a plain old soldier build here for now because i figured that'll be the most simple way to stop dying <laughs> uh. Man, I'll tell you what, I feel like I'm wading through mud here right now. There's no, I mean, I'm not killing slowly, but I'm killing slowly in so far that there's so many freaking enemies to deal with. Alright. Man, my constitution's nearly out too. Bloody hell. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> so it'll be interesting as well to see if anyone out there in the community comes up with funky builds uh, to help with the survivability like this, like crazy AoE builds or something like that. I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I am totally excited to see where this goes, like I was saying. With the old Titan Quest days, that was so fun. I didn't even compete so, um, like publicly with the X Max mod on that thread anyway. But I had fun just seeing who came up with what and sort of where it all went. So <laughs> hopefully that's that that comes up again. Like I said, all right. So yeah, like man, there's there's a lot here. <laughs> and look, bear, bear in mind, guys, I'm only level eight up to the first Rift Gate, and there is a lot more going on. There is so many more enemies, and it might, might not even look like that much on screen, but it feels s like slower, but not in a bad way, just there's so many more enemies to chop through, it's crazy. Oh man, oh look at that down there, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> oh snap, this is, this is dangerous, I'm just putting points anywhere, whatever, give me things to help me live. <laughs> Oh, they're all coming around too. Oh, dude, I've aggroed them. I'm gonna wait up here. Oh no, oh, that was lucky. I thought I was gonna miss him. Bam, bam, bomb. All right, so this will be the last bit. I don't want this video to drag out too long. It's a spotlight video, not a not a let's play. <laughs> but I, I really wanna see how many Kazogs we've got. We've got one, we've got two, but look at the amount of enemies. Oh man, I gotta get a screenshot, hang on. Nailed it. <laughs> That's probably going to be the thumbnail. That's why I had to get the screenshot. Oh boy, come on. We can do this. And the thing is, I mean, the whole point of the... At least how I interpret the point of having more Kazogs and, and the like is that they are, of course, are summoning enemies. And so you can only imagine if you had three or four of these dudes lined up at once in, like, ultimate difficulty, how hard they'd be hitting you because they'd just be constantly spawning. It'd be nuts so. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. Urgh. Come on, we nearly got the first one down. I got no constitution left. There we go. This one's still nearly full health. <laughs> Damn it. Urgh. Urgh. All right, there we go. Come on. I shouldn't have used force wave then. I needed to kill these dudes. Get the stun on. Guzzling the health pots. <laughs> Woo! Nearly there. There we go. Secured it. Flawless victory. Awesome, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I think you've got the gist of this mod by now. Definitely go check it out for yourself. Hey, there's another dude here. Definitely check it out for yourself. Leave some love on the thread over with Giaco on the Grim Dawn forums. Let him know that you're digging the mod. And I hope to see you guys back here again soon. Please do leave any likes down below. It's always welcome. Leave any comments or suggestions for other mods you want me to spotlight, and I'll be sure to check them out. So for the time being, my name is Kluger, and you have a great day.